This video is about uh, marijuana and marijuana consumption for the sake of a Christian, the Christian walk. Uh, the question is, you know, is it acceptable or is it unacceptable? Now, marijuana is never specifically named in the Bible. Um, I do believe, though, that it's spoken of indirectly. And what I mean by this is you compare it with something similar, something like alcohol consumption, right? And this is what the Bible has to say about alcohol. It says, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. It also says, Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. So we see that drunkenness can impair your judgment and how you act. So I believe you should take the same principle in consideration with marijuana consumption. If marijuana consumption impairs your judgment or affects how you act, then it should be avoided. Now here's where it gets sticky because some people will say, no pun intended, some people will say that marijuana did affect them in those ways and other people who smoke say marijuana has never affected me in that way. And that's probably due to some people, you know, like some people can consume more alcohol than others without it having an effect. Um, and of course, when it comes to alcohol consumption, uh, you know, some alcohol is all right, but there's a certain point in which you're drinking at which you go into drunkenness. So the same effect could be for marijuana. Perhaps a little smoking doesn't affect you in that regard, but a large amount would. So it really depends on a, on a kind of a case-by-case -case basis. And a lot of the reasons are, you know, why are you taking it to? You know, are you taking it to, uh, you know, get away from the problems of this world rather than facing them? Uh, are you taking them for health reasons? There's all kinds of reasons. And, uh, and if you look at all the studies that are done for marijuana, you'll see that the results are so varied. You have you know, certain results that say one thing and other results say the complete opposite. Uh, so that just shows that there's so many variables involved in its effects and, and, you know, what marijuana does. And we should also think of the fact that, you know, the, the plant was something that was created by God, right? God created it. Uh, he created it for a reason. What that reason was, who knows? You know, that's open to, uh, open to speculation. And, uh, and I have heard interesting things about that some of the effects of cannabis are actually things that our body naturally produces. So there's all kinds of interesting things to, uh, to take into consideration on this subject. So really, if anything, I would just recommend bringing it to God in prayer if it's something that you're, you know, genuinely conflicted about and uh, you know watch your own habits and have other people tell you about how you've acted while you have been under the influence of marijuana because often the effects we don't notice when we're under them but we can only see after the fact when other people tell us about them so that's my thoughts on marijuana use for the Christian walk 